welcome to another edition. I should start doing editions, like, you know, episode one, episode two, episode three. That just that just came to my mind while I'm recording live. Uh, so, but so what I want to talk to you. This is welcome to SoCal Trading Team. First of all, I'm your host Leonardo Singleton. I'll be putting out videos as often as possible, but at least once a week or so, videos will be coming up. So you'll be seeing a lot more of me and hearing a, a lot more about the services that we have to provide. So please make sure you like, subscribe, tell your friends, family about uh, if they're interested in developing residential facilities or they own residential facilities and any staff training or any type of special development or any type of recertification, continuing education, we're here for you. Uh, you can visit us at SoCalTrainingTeam.com on the web and then also across social media as well. You want to follow us there. So what I want to talk about, this is this is a, a topic that I run across a lot. And this topic, this topic is related to the business side of running residential facilities. What happens a lot of times we we open these businesses and we're focused on making the money. So we figured out how to generate and make the the income, but then we don't manage the business side. So I'm running in to quite a few facilities that aren't managing the business side of it. They're providing a great service and they have everything in order on that end. But then on the other side, which is the business side, they don't have nothing in order. And, and so what I want to talk about are some of the important things that as a business owner, right, we're not running mom and pop operations anymore. Those days are gone. We need to run everything as a business, especially in the residential facility business. You're generating a good amount of income so you can afford to pay to put things in place to function as a corporation and not as a mom or pop operation. And so what I wanted to do was walk you through some of those stages or some of those beginning processes that a lot of us don't set up from day one. We typically wait till we start generating income and then we work backwards when we should start on the front end. So the first thing, of course, you're a corporation. You're set up as a corporation, but it goes beyond just you being set up as a corporation and paying your taxes and filing your taxes every single year. There are things internally that should be going on so you can manage your income better and so that you don't use your business bank account as your personal bank account. So we we need to separate those two. So everything that is business needs to stay business and everything that is personal needs to stay personal. Um, some of the ways that you fix those things, number one, you have to get some type of bookkeeping service. I know that a lot of us, even I, I've been guilty of it as well. I feel that I can do all my bookkeeping services. I can service the clients. I can I can pay the bills. I can do all these different things where I'm wearing 10,000 hats because I don't want to pay someone to, to assist me. But the first thing I would do when I open up a residential facility is I would get some type of bookkeeping software, whether I, and, and I'm not getting any uh, kickback for any of these softwares that I throw out there, whether it's Wave App or QuickBooks or uh, Gusto, you want to have something in place so you can track your income and expenses. Those are two basic things we need to track. We need to track income and expenses. If you don't want to do it yourself, you hire a bookkeeper. And that bookkeeper, that bookkeeper will manage all that for you. If you guys need recommendations on bookkeepers, you can uh, send me an email. I do have a couple of agencies that specialize in bookkeeping services and audits for adult residential facilities, group homes, residential care facilities for the elderly and short-term residential therapeutic programs. And they have experience with doing audit work for them as well. So, and one thing I want to bring up when it comes to bookkeeping though, you want to look at how much time they save you and in, in financially, and then how much time they free up for you as well. We all get caught up in that we want to do everything. We wear so many hats and everybody wants to, you know, save a dollar. And at the end of the day, we end up losing because we're not experts. So the second thing I want to say is 
we're experts in our areas that we're good at, right? It, ours may be caregiving, but are we experts in bookkeeping and finances? Probably most of us are not. So those of you that are, I take my hat off to you, kudos, but you still want to, at some point, determine that, hey, I need someone to come in here and manage this side. Personally, I have someone come in and they do all my bookkeeping for the business, all the financial part. And I know you guys are probably thinking to yourself, can I trust the, can I trust the CPA to do my financial or bookkeeping? Can I trust, because I've heard so many horror stories. I've heard people lose money and I've heard accountants taking money and all of that. But there are ways to set it up to where the accountant doesn't have access directly to your bank account. I just need them to manage my income and expenses. I need them, I need them to show me where my holes are, where my gaps are, where I could generate more income, where I could double down and focus on. So that's what I like about the bookkeeping part of it is that it lets me know at a moment notice what my income is and what my expense is. And at the same time, when I want to apply for business credit or when I want to expand, when I want to get a loan, and when they say, hey, give us your financials for the past two years, I don't have to go dig around or ask somebody, can they help me put together my financials? Because all that stuff is readily available to me every single month. And I have access to to those reports uh, for my business. Uh, another another thing that's important for you guys to do with your business is make sure you're paying your taxes. So if you have bookkeeping services, that all falls in line. You'll, it'll, they'll make sure that you're taking care of your taxes. They'll make sure you're filing all your quarterly reports on time. And I know a lot of times you guys don't think about all those things, but that's why you need a professional in your, on, on your side to be able to address those things at the same time. So with the, with the bookkeeping, the most bookkeepers are also financial managers as well. So they can tell you different aspects of your business. They can show you where you need to put your income. Um, they can show you investments. There's a lot of different things that come along with that bookkeeping service. Now, I'm not going to act like paying for bookkeeping service is the cheapest thing. But in the long run, if you start it immediately, you'll determine that you'll be able to determine that how valuable it is in the long run. So uh, another part of the business side is ensuring that Okay, so I talked about uh, the the bookkeeping side, the corporation, the bookkeeping, the the taxes. You also have the labor law side. You want to? I'm not going to go into detail about labor law um, without having it in front of me. But you want to make sure you're following the the labor laws. A, a lot of homes are getting in trouble for for not doing the right thing with that. That's a key part of your business. And uh, the last part that I want to talk about is just your staff training. You want to ensure that your staff are getting the, the proper amount of training every single year. You're, you have employee files on them. You, you're building out employee files professionally. I use classification folders to build them out. If you guys need assistance with that, you can reach out to us. We can kind of give you some examples of what of what that looks like. So. Just remember, when you're running a residential facility, it's not just the client service that you're providing. There's also the back end side, the business side of it that keeps you in business and it gives you longevity as well. So that's all I wanted to talk to you about the business side. If you have any questions, visit us, visit us on the web at SoCalTrainingTeam.com. You can also send us an email. Our email is on the website and you can contact us as well. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share with friends and family, and I'll see you on the next video, guys.